Hi everybody and welcome to my studio. Today I am going to share with you my art on the go bag. Um, right now I have it with all collage things because um, that's what I like to do out, well, out in public. <laughs> um, that whenever I um, am going to go somewhere and work on something it's always collage. Um, I usually don't take any of my paint stuff with me or anything like that. That um, is something that I just always do at home. But I love to um, go places and sit and work in my journals doing collage and um, found word journaling and, and things like that. Um, at first, I guess I was I don't, wouldn't say embarrassed, and I don't even know if I would say that I was really uncomfortable working, um, you know, when there's strangers around. I um, just kind of got in the habit of, um, you know, I have my phone and my headphones, and I would put my favorite music on, and I would have um, a drink or a snack and I would just sit there and kind of get in my own little world and work and and work in my journals. Um, my favorite place to go is is Whole Foods. Um, you know they just they always have a nice seating area and I do like to people watch and there are always people. Um, of course the Whole Foods is always really busy um, so it's just kind of fun to sit there and and work in my journal and um, you know just kinda watch people as they go by and things like that. Um, I've also worked in different coffee shops around town and things like that um, and I what really got me started doing it was um, well I, I just needed to get out of the house. I you know with two kids, two little ones, and just always having kids around there for a while um, before they were both in school. My youngest is now in first grade, so before both of them were in school, I always had a little one with me. Um, so the only time that I could really kind of get out and get away was to, um, you know, to go to go to places and work on things, and I always go to Whole Foods to do a lot of our shopping and so it just kind of was natural place for me to just start taking um, some things to work with with me and I would get my groceries and then I would just sit there and create for a while but um, I do you know I think it's a great thing just to kind of get out and get in a different place and no one has ever come up and asked to look in my journal um, Sometimes I kind of wish that somebody would, because I would love to share it. Um, and I, I guess I kind of feel like if somebody sees me out doing something and working on my art in these places, that maybe it would inspire them to do it as well. Maybe it's something that they've always wished that they were brave enough to do and never had. Um, and if they see me sitting there working on stuff and that you know, pretty much nobody around me could care less what I'm doing, then maybe they would get out and do it also. So, um, anyways, I actually bought this bag back in December. I found it on Amazon. I was um, just kind of poking around trying to find a new bag to use as my art on the go. And I, I even, even art on the go as far as walking from my studio into my living room is what I consider art on the go. So anywhere, you know, that's not in your normal place. Um, I, uh, it's just nice to have a travel bag. I work a lot. I used to work a lot in the car and I need to do that again. Um, but I get to school early so that I get in the parking spot that my kids are used to me parking in. And I sit in the parking lot for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes waiting for school to get out. So um, I have many times sat in the car and worked on things. I have um, torn pages out of magazines while sitting in the car um, so that I can go through them to uh, harvest images and words for collage. Um, I have cut things and, you know, cut, done fussy cutting and things like that. 
So, um, you know, just kind of taking advantage of any opportunity that you have to squeeze some art in, which is something that I am very, very much trying to get back in the habit of. Having a little travel bag that you can just grab and take with you is perfect. So, I found this on Amazon. I used to be in this bag here, and I got this on clearance from Target many years ago. Probably, well, it's probably been three years or so. I don't know if I have a video on this. I think I probably do. Um, but this is a makeup bag. I think I probably paid around $14 for it. It was on, It was um, at Target. The brand is Contents by Allegro. But it, it's just a makeup bag, and I love using these makeup bags um, for art bags. They are perfect. They have, they almost always have some sort of little zipper pouches in them, um, and just places where you can, can store things. This one worked really, really well for me. Uh, I had just different tools on one side, my scissors and my adhesive, and um, things like that. And then I had some smaller elements and collage things in both of these zipper pockets. And then I just had like a bunch of washi tape and things like that over here. Um, but I was just kind of, kind of getting tired of it and thought that it would be fun to try to find something new. And I looked around on Amazon. All I did was search under um, travel accessory bags, something like that. And I found this one. It is by a company called Free Grace. And it is actually called, it's the Premium Large Travel Essentials Organizer. And I will put a link to this down below um, on Amazon. It is $17.99. I'm looking at everything on my phone right now. It's $17.99. Um, I did get it on Prime, so I had free shipping on it. And it comes in lots of different colors. It has, uh, let's see, it's hard to do because my camera's up high so I can squeeze it in. It's got the blue with the green that I got. It has a dark blue. It has green with teal, purple, hot pink, and blue, and all blue. So that you have choices as far as colors. And um, as far as the size of it goes, the dimensions are, I'm trying to find it here. Well, I know it. Okay. It is 11 inches by 5 and a half inches by 10 inches. So 11 and then 5 and a half on the bottom and 10 across. And I've got mine stuffed fairly well. And it's, it's expanded to almost 12 inches wide just by, by um, what I have inside. So that is that and I'll post a link so that you can find this but it is a really neat bag it's got a good handle on it it's some meshy stuff that's um well I mean it's it's a toiletry bag so it's made to be used and carried around and and as luggage so um what I it has an outside pocket and I don't have anything in this right now um, whenever I go out, I can actually, well, I could stick, this is a, one of the larger moleskins that fits back here. It does hang off over the top, but as far as the width, it fits in there. Composition notebook fits in there. Um, but what I most likely will use it for, if anything, is to put, uh, <coughs> excuse me, is to put a magazine in it. I know I, I have a magazine, there we go. You know, if I want to have a new magazine um, just to get some different images out that I haven't cut out, I might put a magazine in there and it fits in there just perfectly. So it's got a nice outside pocket. 
whenever I take it out, I won't probably put a magazine in it just because I've, I have this bag here, which I'll show you what's in here in a bit. But on the outside, it has these two zipper pockets. So on the side, and since this is made for, you know, makeup, it's got all of these wonderful little elastic holders. So I have just a pencil and some, um, I've got a couple black gel pens. I have my white Signo pen. I have a um, Stabilo pencil, which I get my Stabilos at Blix. Um, gosh, I think they're $1.50 maybe at Dick Blix. Luckily we have one in town. So I get those there. And then I just have a Micron pen. There is another little section here. I have a metal ruler, my nice little cutter bee scissors, a pencil sharpener for my Stabilo, and then I have a clip that I like to use, you know, if I'm trying, if uh, my journal doesn't want to stay open, things like that, I have a nice little binder clip. So that is what is on this side. On the other side, well, first of all, on this one, there is a little pocket. There is not a pocket on this side. This side has a little pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just have some little packet of travel wipes just because um, working with glue stick a lot, sometimes your fingers can get goopy or um, you might need to wash off the table that you're going to work on. You don't want to have, you know, a, a dirty table to work on with grease or anything like that from food. So I have those tucked in there. And on this side, I have a glue stick, some roller adhesive, my water brush pen, a nice eraser, and then I have a little pair of tweezers stuck in here because I like to use tweezers to help me place down um, my found word, my, my phrases and words that I've clipped out of magazines. Tweezers are a lifesaver. I have a couple more binder clips. I have another um, adhesive. This one is my Ditto Tombow that I use like crazy. And I have another glue stick just because the last thing you want to do is run out of adhesive when you're somewhere working on collage. So that's what's on this pocket. And there's a the little zipper patch here. And I just have one of my um, baby washcloths. I've had these forever. I have five kids and these have washed many <laughs> bodies. Um, but they are super for using to rub down your images and things like that. They're soft so they don't scratch the magazine. Some magazines, um, the cheaper, uh, the thin paper magazines, it can be easy to actually rub off the ink off of the image. Um, so these just work great for that. You could use even just, you know, like a nice soft piece of t-shirt or um, just just a soft cloth. Okay, you can use these at, um, well you can find these at Walmart or Target, any place like that in the baby, baby area. And they usually come in like a pack of four or so for not very much, but that fits in there. Perfect. Okay, so I'm sorry, my, my allergies are really kicking up and I keep on coughing, so please excuse me. I went and got a cough drop, so if it sounds like I'm talking with something in my mouth, I am. Um, so as far as the front, it has these two zippers that open up, and so it lays like this. And there's actually um, just a little loop here it had a hanger. I don't know if I kept that. I don't think I did. I have it somewhere. It has a hanger so that you can, this is made so that you can hang it on the doorknob or, you know, a hook in the bathroom if you're at a hotel, things like that. 
so um, it's made so that it hangs open. But that was in the way, so I took it off, but you could actually probably use it as a pin loop if you wanted to, maybe, for a short pin. It's pushing it. But I just leave it, leave it as is, but it has two zipper areas in this little flap, and I have washi tape all inside of this top one, and including just a little sample pack there that my friend Sandy sent me. So I have washi tape, and then right here in this one, I have some extra of the um, refills for my Tombos. I actually started getting um, these on Amazon with a subscription. I get one of these sent to me every month. I think it's six dollars and I think it's under seven dollars. It's through Prime, um, but I use these so much that for me this is a definite money saver. So I just always make sure that I have um, refills of that. And then for the inside, let me take, I'll take this out so you can see what's actually in here. There are pockets inside. So it kind of has this little mesh area, which is not a pocket or anything like that. It's just open so that you can see what's inside. But there are three long pockets along the back and then three pockets that open up, that hang open a bit. I don't put anything in these just since I have my journals and kind of my big flat things in here. I didn't want to, to put anything in these and I really honestly don't need them because I'm able to get everything that I need in these two outside areas. So there's actually six pockets here, and then there's one on each side. And they go down pretty deep. They go down all the way to the bottom. So that's what it looks like inside, but I don't use any of those pockets. Instead, inside, I have just this little plastic bag. I always take a little bag with me anytime that I um, go anywhere. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm a good Girl Scout and I try to leave the place that I went, that I work at, cleaner than it was when I got there. That's a Girl Scout thing from many, many moons ago. Um, but anytime you go somewhere, you always make sure that you leave it looking as nice or nicer than it was when you got there. So, um, of course, doing collage, cutting out images, you always have little bits of paper, so I just have this little sack for, for paper. And then I have this smaller bag. Let me see who it's from. I know what it is, but there you go. It's called, it's a blue Q bag. I um, actually find mine at our Fresh Time grocery store. Um, I've picked them up at kind of quirky little gift shops downtown. Um, but these are really, just really neat little bags. Of course, they're fun. They have all sorts of different things on them. Got this one here. I think this is the same brand. Yep, Blue Q. So here's another one. So in this one, I have um, small images that I have cut out of magazines. And almost everything in here is from um, Daphne's Diary and Flo. I had a big stack of those magazines. And a couple months ago, I just went through and just purged out every single thing that I could and threw everything else away. So I had a lot of these smaller images and I didn't want them to get lost and um, just kind of messed up in with all the big ones. So I've just got all sorts of things like this that I cut from, cut from there. 
So these are all just small images. Lots of fun. Lots of fun little things. And then in this other one, in this one here, I have kind of some just more ephemera type things. I have a little envelope full of die cuts. There's lots of birds and uh, flowers and butterflies. A lot of these are the Tim Holtz ones. Things like this. These are from one of the Tim Holtz packs. So I have those. Just I know mean, I just have them in the the bag just so um, it just kind of it keeps everything like this together. And then in this one, I have little bits of vintage paper. Sorry, it's very rattly. I have some used tea bag papers. Um, tissue paper, more tea bags. This is um, a piece of vintage wallpaper. I have vintage book texts, just things like that. Lots of oh, lots of papers like that. These are from an old gardening book. Let's see what's this. Oh, I have some vintage photos. My mom tried to throw all these away and actually she threw away a ton of black and white photos and I just about had a heart attack. <laughs> so it's like, mom, why did you throw those away? And she's like, well, we didn't, you know, they didn't have anybody in them and they just, you know, we just didn't need them. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't ever do that again because I can use them in my journals. Um, so these are more vintage pieces of wallpaper that my friend Sandy sent me. Uh, I've got a couple of prayer cards, things like that. Let's see what else is in here. There's another little sack. Been a while since I put all this stuff in here and honestly I haven't been doing anything with this bags so it's kind of like Christmas opening all this up see what's inside this looks like it's just more small images that I had collected this was before I had put these in here before I had done all this so I might I don't know these are kind of more I don't know if I'll mix them up or not it's kind of just a lot of these are just from working on a page, if I had a strip left over from the image, I kept those. That's what a lot of these are. These are actually calendar page from the, just the desk top calendars. So just more small images. Then I have, let's see, I have some Joss paper that I picked up from our Asian market. It's always fun. And just little little plastic bags. I do get the Coco Daisy kit, which is a whole nother video that I'm going to talk about because I haven't been using any of it. Um, but all of their things are packaged in these little plastic um, little sealable bags. So I have some of those in there if I have anything that I want to um, put in a clear bag. I've got just some of this kind of sack, little vellum bags, some envelopes for my log and jotter notebooks, which I absolutely love. I never can throw away the envelope that they send them to me in. So if I ever want to just put this in a journal and use it as a pocket, I have that, and Log and Jotter are, let me grab a couple, um, this is my newest one, it is a 
um, small business, a local, owned, it's not local to Omaha, but it's a small business, and they make these awesome little notebooks. They are the same size as the field note, so it's the exact same size. And it's a monthly mail order, and every month you can get, I just get the one, you can get a, um, a it's a plain covered journal, or you can get the design one. And I always, I just have it for the design one. They're only $5. You can pick the paper that you want inside. I always get the dot grid, because I like dot grid. Um, I think it has lined and blank. So, um, the, they're just really, really, really fun. So, these are just the past few months. They always have, this one was during the Olympics, so it kind of has an Olympic theme, and they always have just kind of some fun little information. But, um, so, I, I highly recommend getting these. If you like working in the size journal, which I have really, really gotten to where I am enjoying working in the size, um, but... That's where those envelopes come from. I cannot throw those away. And let's see. I think that's it. So that is all that's in this little pouch. Let's see if I can get it all back in there nicely. And these just fit perfect, perfect in the bag. And then that leaves room for um, my journals. And I just kind of, depending what I want to work in, then that's what I slip in next. So I have my Moleskin Art Plus sketchbook um, that I absolutely love doing just this type of journaling in. Um, I love taking this with me to work. It's just a good size. It's not too big and it's not too small. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite journals that I that I have. I'm I need to get I need to get busy in it so that I can fill this up. And I need to do a flip. I might I might do a flip halfway through because there's a lot in here. Um, but it fits in there perfect. I am trying to get back into um, using a bullet journal, so I've started here with April, um, and it fits in here perfect. Or let's see, what else could we take? Um, oh, and if as far as my burn bullet journal goes, if I take that, then this is this right here are all my pens for color coding and correction tape and things like that. And then, like I said, I do get the Coco Daisy. Um, Daisy Dory kit. So this is all of all of the goodies that you get that I got for the month of April. So I just kind of have those in a bag. So if I wanted to take that, I can just slip that in there, and it fits perfect. And I still I still have a lot of room. I'm, this is getting heavy, <laughs> um, but there's still there's room. There's a lot of room to pack stuff in. Um, let's see the composition book. It does fit in here and there is room to close it if you want to take something that size. Um, I have my, uh, my, my Midori cover from Chic Sparrow. It is nice and thick and chunky and it of course fits in there, fits in there perfect. This one is the bigger size. My friend Sandy made this especially for me with the, yeah, Bee, the beehive on it. Sandra K. Oops. Which, if you don't follow follow Sandra K on Instagram, you totally need to. She does absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. She's an amazing quilter. Um, so be sure to follow her. But she made made this for me, and it's uh, just the bigger size. I've got the moleskin in here, and then just another skin journal so this will fit in here really well so as you can see you can fit a lot in here um, I've also got little travel watercolors I don't really watercolor in any of my journals but they fit in there perfect I found this at Hobby Lobby on clearance for goodness I think seven dollars something like that it's Dale Rowney. 
here's another little one so you know there's plenty of room for different supplies this would actually fit perfect stuck on the side there um let's see oh i also have these Meyer Road tins from scrapbooking things from many moons ago. Who knows how long ago these are. I've had these forever. They also work great for just holding um, ephemera and whatnot in it. There's a lot more tea bags in here and tissue, printed tissue paper, um, some doilies, um, vellum, things like that are in here. So I can slip that in. I've got more die cuts, lots of floral and butterflies, um, and images cut out are from old gardening books. And then this one just has tags in it, good old tags and things like that. So just fun stuff, if I can get it open, fun stuff to, uh, that I can use in my journal just to recycle things because it's kind of fun to add tags in there as well so um, actually if I was going somewhere I would probably have these in here just like this and take it take this like that and then I have this bag here this is if I you know know I'm gonna be have lots of time and really want to have a lot of things to a lot of choices as far as images and whatnot. I have um, slip a magazine in there, but I have this bigger bag that I got. I also got this one from our Fresh Time. It says raw materials on it, art stuff. This is also one of the Blue Q bags. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this, but I don't. I think it might have been, I don't think it was over $10, but it might have been a little bit, but I'm not sure. I don't, I don't remember. But this one has more um, images in it. These are all from the Daphne's Diary and flow that I went through. Um, so these are the bigger images whenever I went through and purged everything out of those. Um, so just all sorts of stuff in here. I, there really aren't many um, images of people. It's all mostly just kind of things, um, you know, bikes and, and whatnot. So if I want to have anything with a person in it, I probably wouldn't find it in here. There's a few. I have some in here from Bella Grace also. I think that's going to be my next... Um, magazine harvesting session is going through my big huge stack of Bella Grace. I have a stack that's probably this high and I want to just go through and cut out the images that I absolutely love and then just get rid of everything else because it's taking up space. So, um, so this is all my bigger images and I just have those in here in this tote bag. I got this tote bag. Oh gosh. A long time ago, let me see if I can see the brand. The brand is Paper Chase. I got this at Borders, so that should tell you how long ago it was. I got it at Borders Bookstore. Um, well, Gracie's going to be 11, and I think she might have been one whenever I got it. So I've had this forever, but it's an awesome little bag, but it's perfect for taking a magazine. And I could also, if I wanted to, if I didn't have any room in my bag, I could stick my journal in there. So, I think that's all that I wanted to share with you about this, about my bag. Um, I really, really, I really love it. Like I said, I can even just take this from being in here and working to going and sitting, you know, at the kitchen table or at the couch and in the car, um, anywhere. It's just absolutely perfect for, for an art bag. You could totally use this um, with other supplies, I'm sure. Um, it has 
plenty of places to put paints and paintbrushes and sketchbooks and watercolor books and um, things like that. But for me, I will always be using this as a collage bag and um, yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Be sure to, um, if you wanna check this out, check out the link below. And um, I hope that you all have a fantastic day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.